Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on uh, how to use uh, our 5Vs Google Classroom, the homeroom uh, branch of our classrooms. We have a few. Um, primarily this homeroom branch is used for families and parents uh, of the children to access uh, information to view reminders and postings. I'll start with uh, signing on to Google and these are the steps that you can take to access this uh, Google Classroom homeroom branch. The first thing I would do is I would sign in and the reason I want to sign in is so that uh, once I you know search for the classroom I can get to it without having to be prompted to sign in at that point. Now I've provided you a link in an email you can access a classroom using that link. This is another shortcut method. This has worked for the students and uh, teachers in our building so you can just type in uh, Google Classroom and the first link, first search result uh, is what you should click on. Now I'm already signed in and uh, your, your students all have access to uh, Google uh, Classroom or a, a lot of the Google Classroom so uh, you, have, you can bypass the uh, joining or any uh, you know registration stuff so once you click on go to classroom you may not even get that you may just be taken directly to this screen something that looks like this uh, this lists uh, the classrooms that I've set up. You'll note that there's one for math, there's one for ELA. Uh, I have some professional ones as well for uh, teaching. Um, but here's the homeroom one, and it's uh, indicated by its uh, purple banner. It's called 5e Homeroom 2014-15. I'll click on this one. You'll see uh, the banner, uh, some purple bubbles. That's how you can identify it. It has the title. Uh, 5e homeroom 2014-15 the section number one only you know it has number one just because that's the first class uh, that I created and um, it has this ribbon over here below the uh, title area the ribbon shows uh, uh, an option for stream uh, students and about we uh, for the purposes of this really only have to focus on the stream uh, part of the ribbon and that is what this is what you're seeing right now is a stream to differentiate between that here are all the students that are enrolled in this classroom, but we're going to go back to the stream here. And uh, when you look at the stream, there's a few things that you should note. Uh, there's a place to post comments, uh, or sorry, to, place, uh, to post announcements. Um, and there's a place to read announcements, and uh, that's kind of where I'll begin here. Um, this, uh, as I've mentioned in the email classroom, is for you to view announcements uh, or reminders. Um, for example, I've posted a reminder that Picture Day is uh, Wednesday, September 10th. Um, uh, I've also posted uh, just a general announcement here with an attached link um, or a Google document that I've attached to it. Uh, this announcement is uh, telling you to consider reading this uh, document that I've attached here. And the document contains some resources that your kids can look over and uh, you know once they look over them they can decide which ones they want to use for a particular morning routine activity. Um, again you can see some more um, informational stuff posted. This is an announcement that I made uh, last Thursday on September 4th. I attached a document, a Google document, to the curriculum night flyer. Um, one of the things that I'll be doing primarily with this classroom is posting visuals and information for you to read such as uh, flyers uh, in the form of PDFs or scanned images um, such as uh, Google Documents. Um, so if there's some mail from school for example all I have to do is scan it uh, like this curriculum night flyer and then post it and you have access online to it. Certainly this, a lot of this stuff will come home anyway if the school provides us with copies but you also have an online uh, copy and visual. Um, so those are the types of announcements that I post. They're, they're pretty much uh, reminders or just general announcements or just uh, you know resources for you to use uh, in the form of an, an attachment. Um, you probably won't be needing to make an announcement uh, you know, you're you're you'll be in, logged in as your child. Um, if you do have the need to make an announcement or you know ask a question, you can ask your question here. You would just click uh, 
announcement here like this and then you would type in whatever you need to type in. We'll do a sample here. I am making an announcement. You can also sign your name uh, just to indicate that it is you who's posting as opposed to your child just because you, you'll be sharing uh, access and login with your child. Um, and you can have your child show you how to use some of these features because they'll be learning them as well. You can post a video uh, from YouTube, a link, uh, a document from your Google Drive, or just an attachment off your computer or your flash drive, and then you would simply click the uh, post button. Um, commenting, you can also comment underneath announcements. Um, this is the announcement about the web current event resources that kids can use in the morning. Um, and you know you can ask a question here as well if you don't want to post a separate announcement you can just post a comment in reply to my announcement and you would just um, type it below hi this is a reply to your announcement and then you can post it there um, I'm not going to be posting assignments in this uh, homeroom um, just because the function of it really primarily is to uh, communicate with you, uh, give you reminders, offer announcements for you to read, and share with you visuals uh, in the form of PDFs or scanned images or you know, documents for, for you to browse and read. So that is a, a brief tutorial on the uh, Google Classroom Homeroom Edition. At a future date, I can show you how we use the uh, ELA and the math uh, one as well. And, you know, there will be other ones that I set up, too. Um, but stay tuned. All right. Thank you. Bye.